I initially had him posing with his arms folded, but when I got into the early stages of that painting, I thought, well, maybe having the arms folded distances him from the viewer. So I, I went a little bit cold on that composition and I put the painting aside. I got another canvas, started again fresh, had him just put his hands in his pockets like this, which was a pose he, again, he adopted very naturally and, and without having to be, you know, have it suggested to him. So I thought, well, that's a good pose to, to work with. But during the latter stages of that painting, he was up at, David was in my studio when I was putting finishing touches on the painting. And uh, this is when we were at Kentus and I had a rather large studio. And this painting was up in the back corner that I deliberately kept in the darkened corner, hoping that he wouldn't notice it, nor the, the others who were there at the time. And he was having a, he was sniffing about and he, he did notice it and he said, what, what's happening with this, Paul? Are you going to finish this? And I thought, oh, well, you know, the game's up. And it's interesting because I, I really think that, that of the two variations is probably the more um, the more accurate, the more revealing of the two portraits and says more about David Campisi as a, as a person. So um, I'm glad he suggested I finish it. I see portraiture in a, in a broader, more small c Catholic sense and, and I think it can encompass a whole range of possibilities and really the, the bottom line is some representation of a person where you're hoping, attempting to reveal something about that person. It would be audacious to, to think that you could really capture or get to know them um, intimately. You, you, you can a little, but it, invariably they're going to be putting on their, their, you know, a front as we all do when we're in those sorts of situations. Which in a sense is why it's often that a, a self-portrait or a portrait of someone who's very close to you may end up being the most revealing and, and uh, an authentic of portraits. I think every portrait to some extent is, I don't know who said this, was it Picasso or someone said that every portrait is really a self-portrait. And I know when I'm doing my own painting, what I'm looking for is some resonance, some sense of the person looking back at me off the canvas.